Hi, this is J2 here. I'm going to give you a quick review of a computer desktop hardware. Many computer hardware may be located in different locations, but they are built in a similar way. Okay, the first thing we're looking at here is actually the motherboard. The motherboard is where everything connects to. And on the motherboard, we have the CPU socket. It's actually that right there. That's where the CPU will go. The CPU is usually this chip right here, which actually run everything on the computer. And let's put it in. And close it and snap it in. All right. And because the CPU run everything on the computer, usually not the only one that heat up the uh, the hottest. Because of that, we need the CPU heat sink along with the CPU fan on top. And just put it in the top of it. And then make sure these two are snapping along these two over here. And this right here is plug onto the CPU fan connector. And it's actually that right there. And then usually to locate that, it'll usually label CPU fan. And then just plug it in. Okay. Alright. And on the motherboard, we also have the DIMM slot. These two right here are the DIMM slot. That's where you put your RAM. The RAM are these chip right here. The RAM is to hold onto data before they are saved onto the storage drive. And then just put in the RAM. And put in the other RAM too. Okay. And then let's move on to this connector right here. Right here we have the FDD you know, connector for floppy disk drive, which is actually this right here. This is the floppy disk drive. And then these two you know, down here is the IDE you know, channel connector, which you connect it to CD ROM, DVD ROM, or hard disk drive. Which are these right? These are the DVD ROM and the hard drive right there. All right, and then now let's just connect the floppy disk drive first. Connect that and connect that. Okay, and now for the first I, IDD, I, no, IDE connectors, the blue one. Okay, and then connect that to the hard drive. Okay, and now connect the other IDE connector. And then connect it to your two ROM. Okay. And then let's move along to the next connector. These four right here is actually the serial ATA connector. It's just similar. It's the same as um the ID connector, but a lot faster. You can connect to you no know, your CD ROM, DVD ROM, hard drive, or Blu-ray you no know, drive. These four right here. Okay, and then move on to the all the connection on the side right here. And then the first connector right here is actually the um, the front panel switch and the LED L, no, LED header, which is actually for the front right here, the front panel. And then just connect that right there. Okay, and move along down. And then we have these two connectors for the USB front panel, and then. Is actually this connection right here this connection and just plug it in all right and move along down we have right here is actually the front panel audio header for your front audio connector and then just plug that in okay and move along down we have the um, CD in connector which is actually for your to connect your one of your DVD ROM to that connection. So let's just connect, plug it in. 
and plug that one in. Okay, and then move along to the next one. This is actually your aux connector, and behind these connectors, this little connection right there, that's actually the SPDIF out header, which actually we're not using it currently at the moment. And then move along to over here. These are the expansion slot. Usually it will be CNR, CNR, AGP, PCI, or PCI Express, no, Express Connect no, slot. And then well, according to the no, according to what we see here, this you know we had three 32 bits PCI no, slot and one X16 PCI Express slot. And this connector, I mean these slots right here are usually for if you want to upgrade your mother your motherboard or graphic card or add like a TV card or if, add more USB connector and so on. So we have it to have an additional graphic card. And you just plug now plug it in the card. Okay. And also a TV card. And just plug in the TV card. Okay. And after having everything plugged in, we everything need to be powered up. And to actually power it up, we need the power supply. The power supply is this right here. And we need to connect the power supply to your both your DVD ROM, along with the disk drive, the hard drive. And the motherboard and the motherboard um, usually will connect to the 24 pin ATX connect no, connector right here and the 4 pin ATX connector right here. And then you just put your power supply on the side right here and then you gotta plug everything in. Okay. Start with the DVD ROM. Mm. Okay. And okay. And then now for the hard drive. Okay. And now for the let's get no drive. Okay, and then now for your motherboard. Let's break it down there. Okay, and then for the four pin ATX connector. Okay, and besides just that, you also need to not be able to power up the fan that will cool down your computer so you need to plug it into the fan connector for the back panel and the front panel which is actually this connecting right this connector right here and then just connect this to the power supply mm. okay And the other one is right here. Yes, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay. Alright, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.